I tried editing video like VidIQ in under 3 minutes. The aim of this video series I'm starting is to find out if video editing is truly difficult and time consuming as a lot of people say it is. And the motion graphics I would try to recreate from VidIQ video is on the screen now. So let's see if I pass or I fail. I'm sure you don't want me to fail. So I'm going to edit the video under 7 minutes. If it passed 7 minutes, I failed the challenge. This is a CapCut PC tutorial and all video edit in this series will be done on CapCut PC only. So will I fail the video editing challenge? Let's find out. So the first step is the background and as you can see, I have one here. You can do it your way. It does not necessarily have to be the main background. So the video was about 20, min 20 seconds in length, right? So we just try and emulate that same length. We just try and emulate it as close as possible. So it's about 20 seconds here. So I'm trying to see if I can beat the seven minutes mark on this. If I do, we passed it. If not, we failed. Next step we wanna do is to bring in the text you can add effects to the background quickly do that so bring in this effect into this background so we have that now so i'm going to use the spectrum scam i'm just going to drag it on the background so we have that now the next order thing we'll do is to go back to import and as you can see, I'm looking at my screen right now. We add the dot, so I'm just going to use the text box here to bring in the dot. Just going to bring in the dot, hit that. And you can see why am I using the dot for this. I'm going to show you why. So I'm just going to hit dot. As you can see, it's small. And I'm just going to make it bigger, like so. Okay, so I'll just reduce it a bit. All right, let's reduce it a bit. So as you can see, the dot is quite big. So we are going to take it. It's going to be at the middle here, right? And now we're going to duplicate this dot. I'm duplicating it because the other one is going to come in at one point. So I'm just going to duplicate it and paste it. And I'll close that layer for now. And now we are going to work with this one. So as you have the dot already, we are going to go to basics. But before then, I'd like to do something to this text. You can, I will do that at the end just to add glue to it. So now you can do your keyframe. You can do keyframe for positioning. So you have your transform keyframe. So I'm going to reduce this. Okay, I'm going to reduce this to this amount. We are two minutes in and then I'll hit the transform keyframe. So it's going to be doing for the scaling and positioning. All right. So now I'm just going to move my cursor a bit, increase the scale. Going to increase the scale. So about 200, right? Okay. So that's much. So I'll just reduce the scale like this. So this was the beginning. And now the other thing is to move the core player to the front more. And we're going to go again and move this just to the side like this. Okay. So that's the first step. Then we add the line going to right. So that's where I bring in another text element. I'm going to put that here. So now for this, I'm just going to have the line. Just going to have the line going through like that. All right. So you can scale it, make it bigger. But for me, I'm going to do uniform scale. And I'm going to scale the width, sorry, the length to make it bigger like that. And now I'm going to position it just in the middle. So now what we are going to do next is, go to, is to go to 
the beginning. For this, I will convert it to a clipping, to a compound clip. So now I've converted that to a compound clip. What I want to happen next is for me to be able to use the able to use the sorry about that so I have it like that I will go to max I'll go to video because I've converted it to compound clip I cannot max it so I'm just gonna go to horizontal max click on it and I'm just gonna rotate this 90 degree to my right and I'm gonna move it out like that and now click on the keyframe that will be my first keyframe I'll move my play head to this point right and then I'm gonna drag this completely out all right so just say completely out like that and then we are gonna bring in this is where the other one I closed which is this one is going to come in right so I'm just gonna move that to where this play head is and that's where it will be so we have it like so we have to make sure it's same size as you can see so we'll just increase it a bit let me put it here let's just increase it a bit to make it almost same size so now we have it here right like so so now this is where the color started to change right so this is where the color started to change so now we'll just scroll down to colors and i'm going to hit the keyframe for colors and i'm going to move my play head a bit to the front and i'll change this color i think it was a brighter red okay so as you can see the line is at the top i'll just take that up like that as the first line so we'll move play it again and change the color to a darker or lighter red something lighter right like so move the play it again and now we're going to change the color to a more darker color and then we now add the man appearing so I'm just gonna go go out and bring in the I will import the image of the man appearing so this is the image I'm gonna bring that in and we're gonna take it to the top okay I'm just gonna move it there like so as you can see the video was about 20 seconds but I'm just trying to show you what we did with everything so I'll go to basics background remover auto remover and I'll allow it to get out the background okay so it remove the background as you can see it's trying to process it it takes time we have passed the seven minutes mark already but trust me if I was not showing you this tutorial, I would have been able to achieve that in several minutes because I wouldn't be talking, I would just be doing. So that's just it. So let me pause this. So we are back, the background is out now. The next step is to go to basics. We're gonna reduce the scale. We're going to reduce the scale to as small as it can be, All right? So this is just us reducing the scale to as little as it can be. Then we're gonna set a scale keyframe. We'll move it a bit and then we're gonna increase the scale. Okay. Just like that. And we'll just move it here. Okay. So you can see we have it like that. The next step we want to do is to bring in a text that say A, we should collab. So I'm just going to move this again to this point, bring in the text, 
bring in another text and she say a hey, let's collab right a comma we should collab okay so you can see we've reduced we've done that We've done that. That is one. It's supposed to be on this side. And now you can notice there's a box. There's a box beneath it. There's a box beneath it. You can just find that and just put in a box. This is background. Come to background. Click on background. For this one, the background is black and it was actually white here so let's make this background white okay and the text would be black so that we could see the text text color would be black okay so that's one so we have that a less collab just move it somewhere here and we also have the next so i'll just duplicate this i'll duplicate this control copy and the next one say a or oh, it says yes right so the next one says yes we can so it's gonna be here and it says what okay But this is a red box matching this box, right? So let's go down. Still the black test. So the only thing we are changing is the background color to black or to red, sorry. So I'll just click on this so that I can just match. This is the two. I can just click on that to match that black box. So you can see we are almost done now. So after we have those two appearing, we're going to cut it off here. We're going to cut it off here. So I'll do Control, Control B, and I'll do Control B here. And now I'm just going to move these two a little bit forward. So now this one under can just bring in another text box instead of using the same one. Or we can just get rid of the background and get rid of the background. Now the two of them is going to say what and why, right? So we'll work with this. This one will move a little bit forward. So this one is going to say what. Cool. So this one is going to appear in this space that's where it's going to appear we want to increase it we want to increase the size right so we want to increase it and make sure we are placing it just perfectly there so the next one is going to say why so this one is going to say why Once again, we'll bring this in. Remember, we want to know what this size is, which is nine. So we want to make that size to nine. So let's just increase it to nine. Good. So we have it there, it says Y. So mine is in small letter. You can make yours capital letter as the video is. But I'm just showing you exactly the way they made it right i'm showing you the way they made it so this line got away disappeared at a point so we're just going to do the same thing here 
So before I ask the what and why, that's the same place this line is going to get out of the way for us. Okay, so that's the same same place. Oh, that's not the line, sorry. This is the line. So, this is where the line gets out, right? So that's perfect. The next thing we want to do is, is to bring in these two box together. So we are going to make we are going to make the two lines. This one, so this one, and the one beneath it. Because since it's, they are going to match together right now, so the ones at the top going to disappear right so just somewhere here we're going to cut this control b we'll delete that and we'll do that for the other one control b and we'll delete that and now this is where we want to match the two together so we're going to start with this let me just increase it a bit and I'll also do same thing for this one and increase it again. So now we're going to try to match them together. And at this point where they try to start merging, this is where we want to get this man out of it. So we'll do Ctrl B and I'll delete that again. Right? So now we're going to move this go to basics so position and now we are going to move this just to the middle like so and when it gets to the middle we want the or before it gets to the middle just a little while before it gets to the middle we notice it started to fade in color, so we'll also do color we'll do colors scaling. So we'll do keyframe, keyframe the color, and we'll just move a frame forward and we'll keyframe it, move it forward. And now we're going to reduce the opacity. So opacity. And we're going to reduce it like so. Reduce the opacity because this is where they join. And we are going to do the same thing with the one beneath it, but we'll move this to the middle. Perfect. That's the middle. Then we'll do the same thing for the one beneath it. So we're just going to move that also to the middle. Perfect. And now once we've done that, now we've done that right, we then bring in the dancing man who is going to be dancing. So we'll just move a frame forward and I'll go to import and I'll bring in this is my own dancing man. So this is where I'm going to put him to dance for a while. Right? So now to get the color out. I'm just going to do auto keyframe. We have him there. I'll just read. And I'll reduce this because it's just going to be to the side dancing. Right? Think that's. Then we'll just cut this to the right frame. And if we go to the beginning, and play everything, this is what we get. 